the yellow are the nerves. So this should be quite fascinating for all of you because there's a lot of nerves here. And the nerves of the pelvis, so the pudendal nerve is probably a nerve you've heard of uh, in, your, in your research, in your own research. But the pudendal nerve is just one, one nerve with many, many different branches. And the pudendal nerve also communicates with other nerves that originate from the spinal column of segments S2, 3, and 4. So it's not just the pudendal nerve that's communicating here, but also other nerves that exit from the same spinal region and innervate tissues of um, the pelvis, your lower back, um, and even legs. So the nerves here you can see are a lot. And you can see that they're running between the tissues, right? The muscles and the connective tissues that support your penis. So here's your scrotum, and then here's the base of the penis. And you can see these nerves kind of branching off. So this should start to make a little bit of sense when there are some symptoms of uh, burning, sharp shooting, or stabbing pain with an erection or post ejaculation. It could also be a throb or a deep ache. Again, how one experiences symptoms in the pelvis can be different from person to person. What's also interesting to comment on in terms of nerves when you have an erection, it's not just a muscular thing that's going on you also have neurochemicals that are involved with activating these nerves during the entire process. So nerves will release at their end terminals. They will release certain neurochemicals that activates these processes as well. And that also occurs within the tissues of your actual penis in itself. So you have a release of one chemical that comes to mind, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide um, uh, allows blood flow to enter the penis, and then you have an erection. Once uh, ejaculation has occurred, then you have other neurochemicals like um, uh, adrenaline, norepinephrine, that help to lessen the amount of nitric oxide in your penis, and that in turn leads to a resolution or uh, for no more erection. <laughs> so uh, when you take medications that help with erections or to help increase blood flow to the erection, oftentimes they are working on this neurochemical basis of maintaining greater nitric oxide to the tissues. So relating this back to pain, if there are sensitive, if there, these nerves are sensitive for whatever reason, right? Um, whether there was a direct uh, or indirect injury to these tissues, I'll go into more details about potential causes. But for whatever reason, if these tissues get cranky, uh, nerves can become sensitive in this region. And nerves will tend to activate based on not only a change in mechanical pressure, stretch, um, temperature, but they also respond to chemical changes within the tissues. Now these chemical changes are very normal and definitely we want that to happen it, with an erection. But the problem is, is that it becomes associated with an unpleasant experience. And the unpleasant experience then tends to create a reflexive response of guarding muscle tension and protection around these structures because there's of obviously a normal reaction of fear and anxiety when an area of our body that normally is uh, is not alerting and actually brings some pleasurable sensations now is associated with something that is unpleasant. And particularly when we're dealing with our genitals, uh, they play a great importance uh, in our life and basically phys basic physiological function as well. Pooping, peeing, and sex are, are basic physiological needs of uh, any human <laughs> organism. Um, so again, understanding that when there are sensory experiences that are not pleasant, um, your brain and the rest of your nervous system will be on high alert. 
for the next time. 